Hi, good morning. Myself, Dr. Vivek Shashindran, and today we will talk about thyroid swellings. In my last video, I did discuss about hypothyroidism and hyperthyroidism. Now, thyroid swellings is something that is fairly common in ENT practice. Now, the majority of these thyroid swellings are benign. However, a small percentage of these swellings could be malignant or cancerous. Now, what complaints do these patients usually present you with? Obviously, the first complaint would be presence of a neck swelling or a visible neck swelling. In many a times, this is a cause of social concern because people do keep asking about it. Now, the second issue is usually pressure symptoms. So, in general, if you have a swelling which has been there for long, which, has, which is slowly growing, it is more likely to be a benign thyroid swelling. Whereas, if you have a swelling which has come up quite recently and which grows pretty quickly, you got to suspect a malignancy. Apart from this, patients can present with pressure symptoms. So, what happens is that when the thyroid gland enlarges or when these nodules kind of become big in size, it exerts pressure on the surrounding structures, the structures in the vicinity of the thyroid gland. So obviously you have your food pipe, you have your wind pipe. So basically the food pipe is the esophagus. So if you have a very large nodule, it could kind of compress on the esophagus leading to difficulty in swallowing. Similarly, if it compresses on the wind pipe, the patients can complain of difficulty in breathing. Now, apart from this, you also have nerves which supply the voice box. So these nerves, run in very close proximity to the thyroid gland. And especially in malignancies, there can be infiltration or involvement of this nerve. And as a result of which patient can present with voice change. Now, some patients do complain of aspiration. That is a sense of choking whenever they take feeds. Again, this is because of a neural involvement or involvement of the nerve leading to diminished sensation in the larynx. Now you could also see thyroid swellings as a part of syndromes wherein apart from thyroid swellings the patients could have tumors elsewhere in the body. Now when it comes to evaluation of the thyroid swelling the important tests apart from our blood investigations which I spoke about in the last video we will have to do a ultrasound of the thyroid. Now the ultrasound of the thyroid actually yields a lot of information. Now you could study each and every nodule in detail you could study the extent of the swelling you could study the characteristics of each nodule now based on which we can give a grading which we refer to as a thyroids thyroids grading and usually you can grade it on a scale from one to six so in general one two three categories are majority of the nodules in these categories are considered benign four could be a borderline situation five and six more indicative of a malignancy. So once you kind of put your tests together, we could kind of decide on what exactly would be the best modality of treatment for that patient. In the subsequent videos, I would be talking about the surgical management of thyroid swellings. Thank you.